Hey guys, good afternoon. Today I want to talk to you about the use of the full name field inside of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Now this is going to apply either to the on-premise or the online version of the system. And uh, I recently was talking to a client who had a, an issue, and, and you might be able to pick it out if you're looking at my screen. So what you can see is that I have some folks that are listed in the case of Andy Andrews here in a last name comma first name sort of a scenario and I have some contacts that are listed as uh, first name space last name kind of a scenario now evidently somewhere along the lines in their system somebody who's an administrator took the settings and changed them from one to the other now the problem with doing that now the problem with doing that is that it's not retroactive right so if I have records that are listed one way I make it does not impact the existing records so let's have a look see inside the system to see where you would make those kinds of adjustments. Right? So if you go into settings administration and then under system settings, you can see I have a name format here of last name, comma, first name. Now if I change this, it's going to take a few minutes for the system to process it, so I'm not going to change it. But what I will do is show you a couple of little tricks that I discovered and developed for, for my client, which will force the change to happen. So again, first name and last name are separate fields inside a CRM and the issue is that upon rec record creation depending on how you have that flag set it'll either take Larry Ellison and put that into the first name field or it will make it Ellison comma Larry now if you need to adjust in this case you can see that I have Larry Ellison and I want it to be listed the other way that is to say last name first what's the guy to do in this case I'm going to edit. I'm going to make a minor adjustment to the first name and last name fields. You could probably get away with doing just one of those fields, uh, but I'm making sure that it's going to work for you just in uh, the course of our demonstration here. You can see that it's already made the change, and now I can get rid of this one. Um, and I know what a lot of you are going to say, and that is, what am I going to do? I have tons of contacts that exist in the system. I need to be able to find a way to adjust all of my contacts at once and not have to worry about doing this one by one by one. Don't worry, I have a solution for you. So when my customer came to me and asked me about this particular scenario, I wasn't sure how I was going to approach it because you can't really impact that full name field. You can see even here today uh, on our contact form, Larry is totally grayed out. So there's no way for me to impact that field. I thought about maybe exporting this information out to Excel. That doesn't really work so well either. So I was left with one scenario. I developed a work I developed a workflow which will take advantage of the app end feature available in first and foremost. I created a view and it looked for a comma in the full name field. This allowed me to identify all contacts that were listed as la last name, comma, first name because that comma is not present in the first name space last name. I then, with that view selected, ran the appropriate workflow to add or append a one to the end of the last name. By doing this, I now corrected that situation in the full name field to ensure that they were all righted in the way that our client wanted. At that point, I now have a series of contacts that end in one. And so I can create another view for that that looks for a last name that contains the digit 1. I can export all those out to Excel through that view. And then I can run a find and replace inside of Excel to remove that 1. Once I've done that, then I can import all that information back into the system. And everything will be right as rain. So you have to be sure that when you do that export from the view, that you mark everything for re-import. So that's a very important step very important step inside uh, this whole process. So if you guys get stuck, if you have questions, let me know. Uh, I'd be more than happy to try them out uh, and, and see if I can give you a, a little pointer in the right direction or give you some tips as far as uh, whatever. Well, thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate your time, and uh, hopefully we'll see you down the line.